energy conservation in LC oscillation. Sum of energy stored in inductors and in capacitor is conserved. So energy stored in a capacitor is given by U equal to 1 by 2 Q square upon C. And energy stored in an inductor be equal to 1 by 2 L I square. Now let's find the sum U equal to U plus which is equal to 1 by 2 2 square upon C plus 1 by 2 L I square. Let's assume 2 equal to 2 0 cos omega t. Now we find current from here. So I equal to T2 by T we differentiate it. So we will get minus 2 0 omega sine omega t. We put these two values that is that of q and uh, that of i here. So u equal to 1 by 2 c q square that is q0 square cos square omega t plus 1 by 2 l Q zero square omega square sine square omega t. here i square q zero square omega square sine square omega t. Now we write it further one by two q zero square upon t. And here, in base of omega, since that omega is equal to 1 upon root LC, so omega square equal to 1 upon LC. You can write it here. So, cos square omega t plus 1 by 2 L times Q0 square times 1 upon LC sine the square omega t. So one L will cancel out from here. So here we will be having Q0 square divided by C sine square omega t. So we can take out one by two Q0 square upon C inside the bracket cos square omega t plus C sine square omega t, which will be one. So we will get 1 by 2, 2, 0 square divided by c. And uh, if we write 2 equal to cv, and uh, we take 2, 0 as cv, 0, then this energy will become of C V0 square, which is initial energy. Initial energy. It means total energy stored initially in the capacitor. LC oscillation can be understood. Suppose uh, this is inductor and this is capacitor. Initially, Capacitor is fully charged, so charge is Q0, and then it starts discharging to the inductor. Then it gets, gets fully discharged, and total energy appears in form of magnetic energy, that is U equal to Li square here. Then again, suppose this polarity is plus, here is minus, then when this capacitor is fully discharged, 
then again it starts getting charged then this time polarity changes so here this will become minus this will uh, this plate will become positive and this is how lc oscillation is set up to frequency will be given by w equal to one upon two to lc so here our purpose was to prove that sum of energies remains constant and uh, the same we have established now let's uh, take one numerical questions based on it if 10 microfarad capacitor is charged to a potential of 25 volt the battery is then disconnected and pure inductor of 100 milli henry is connected across the capacitor so that lc oscillation is set up calculate the maximum current is required so here we can say energy stored in inductor must be equal to energy stored in capacitor so 1 by 2 l i0 square must be equal to half cv square our concern is to find out i0 so if you will cancel out i0 square equal to cv square divided by l or i0 equal to v times the root of c upon l i0 would be equal to voltage is 25 times the root of c capacitor is 10 microfarad so it will be 10 multiplied by 10 power minus 6 divided by inductor inductor is 100 milli henry so it would be 100 multiplied by 10 power minus 3 so 25 multiplied by the root of one zero will cancel out from here. So it will be 10 power minus 4, which will be 25 into 10 to the power minus 2, which can be written as 0 0.25 ampere. Hence, maximum current will be 0 0.25 ampere. Thank you for watching.